Alright. Verd on the mic. And we have Bulby versus Lucrecio. Losers, round four. There's gonna be, I believe, Bulby's going villager today. And there is Lucrecio's trademark red Rob. Oh. Where is he? Where is he? He's not in there. He's not in there. Oh. Oh, it's it's gonna be the eyes about. Here's looking at you, Bulby. Eyes. Hold on. Man spends too much time on Discord. It's even seeping into his tag. Is it there somewhere? Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, it's down. There's it's still down. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's gone past it. There it is. Right, let's see what sort of control scheme we got going for a villager. Uh, I thought for a second it was going to go beat her. Yeah. Alright. Now let's get into a proper. Now that Bulby actually has controls going. Rob. There's Lucretio's Rob. And... Villager. There is Bulby's Villager. Bulby's on the RPS. Um, at other stages, I'm not sure what these two would prefer. Presumably, Bulby's first battle would be Town and City to get rid of that lower ceiling. So that the beat boot isn't quite as stupid. But beyond that, who knows what bands are going on right now. Just trying to read what they're saying. But I have no clue. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going, lads? So we are going to start on Battlefield. It's a very big stage. They're both going to be living a long time. Especially with both of them having fantastic recoveries. We'll be already starting to set up this wall that Villager is so well known for. Stopping Lucrecio from getting anywhere near him. Forcing Lucrecio to using these projectiles. Bobby has that gyro on pocket, so... That's yet another tool he's taken away from Lucrecio. That's when all he has is movement. And that reflector! Bulby just being a little bit sneaky there, pulling out the top and just putting it away again. Just refreshing it in his pocket. Right now, this wall is really strong for Bulby. Again! Safe for a moment, just refreshes that top, just prevents Lucrecio from using that top at all. And gets the up smash tech chase. Finally, Lucrecio has managed to get it. Bulby needs to find a way down to the ground. Lucrecio is doing a good job here of just keeping Bulby all the way up in the air. Bulby is still not quite enough to cover him. Nice got to find his way back to stage. Lucrecio almost giving him the ledge for free though. But Corbin's still in this bad place, still stuck in the corner. It's not too bad for Villager. Things like run off the bear, run off the bear. I'm incredibly strong and incredibly good at just get off me off these. Don't come to the stage. Oh, that was big. Like, instantly, the tide has just shifted from that one play. There ledge. Roll on, just, just keeps the pressure safe. 110 percent on the pressure now. Villager's bigger hits will certainly be killing right now. But the is doing a good job of just getting this chip damage. Just prevent Bulby from getting like close enough to use his kill moves. Villager's projectile game is strong, but you're not really going to be getting that many kills with it unless you're getting like a back air deep off stage. Tries to dunk again, but just gets one balloon. Now that he's got the stock lead, Lucrecio isn't trying to get in like he was before. And now he's got that top back, but... If Bulby can get that top... Good add-on to Bulby. If 
Will we get that top back in his pocket? That that really restricts Lucrecio's ooh, just camping options. It's better, huh? Thirty percent. All we need to be seeing this stock soon. Good SDI to get out of that upper. I think it's slightly early for that to be killing, but it's not far off. And now it's really in the danger zone. Goes to the upper onto the platform. Tries to get the snipe off the top. Get the pressure going for this dunk every time with villagers carefully. It's relatively safe to do, but you do give up legend and stage for this report. Doing it. And that there, not quite gonna do it. Oh, but back at still the gold rocket, not quite killing. Now 158% on Lucrecio. All he needs to be sitting out this stock and the down air off the top. And again, Lucrecio just be perfectly happy to just sit back and wait for villagers to kill him. This villager does. Oh, but that's the top in the pocket now. And that rage is too high for the beat boot. And the back throw from center stage just about kills at 178%. And that top is still in Bulby's pocket. Of course, the thing about Lucrecio getting that stock loss is now he has lost all that rage. The beat boop is back on deck. Ooh. Manages to snipe the balloons, but Bulby's close enough to the left that it doesn't matter. Now where we go, oh, he's just trying, saying like, hey, I see you hanging on that ledge. You're gonna stay there? Interestingly, Lucrecio now keeping a slightly closer distance to Bulby now that he doesn't have the risk of just dying to a straight hit. Was risky side beat, but paying off. Again, Lucrecio trying to punish the loss of legend ability when it's not there. High commitment reflected to be open. A big risk to work over it. Bulby have the awareness to punish it. Order. The question now just floating around this area. He's got to be careful not to use his fuel here. Bulby just lets him back to the there. That bad coverage from the question. And again, he snipes the balloons, but he doesn't get the kill. Drops just slightly too early, gets hit by the last hit of the up tilt. And now, Bulby's going to have that axe on deck, the tree is right there. Oh, the tree's gone. Axe offline. Lucrecio has that top back. Lucrecio has no reason to really approach here. He's got full stock lead. Bulby up the death descent. Down throw. Good jump out from Bulby. And then just to avoid the beat boot. Oh, and Lucrecio finally gets, finally gets the dunk on the loss of legend invincibility. That is game one to Lucrecio. At the early parts of that game, it looked like all the power was with Bulby, just creating that wall that Lucrecio couldn't get through. But the moment Lucrecio took that first stock, he was saying, hey, it doesn't matter if you're making that wall, because I'm just going to keep just getting on this chip damage. It's hitting you, hitting you, hitting you. Because right now, you have to come and kill me. And then it took Bulby until 178% to actually kill Lugrecio. Okay, so this is the next character. Oh! Lugrecio pulling out Olimar. This is new. And, and Bulby going back to Pac-Man. I believe he's still his mate? I think he's trying to pick up Villager's cover Pac-Man, or potentially even just replace Pac-Man, but completely different match at that. And Crescio instantly just throwing away all the Pikmin. Like, hey, I don't want the standard red, yellow, blue. I want white, purple, red. Is Crescio going to try and go, like, solo purple or something? He's got something in mind here, and I have no idea what Pikmin he's going for, but he's just running to the sides. Just avoiding everything Bulby's throwing at him. What's Lucrecia going? I think he's going for purples. He's now got double purple. I'm 
Not time sure why him what double purple and do this matchup. Pac-Man having such a bad grab. Potentially just hit him away with any of his potential approaches. Perhaps purple has better out of shield options. Not time sure. But he's getting everything except those two purple Pikmin. Not accepting any of Bulby's baits is really working out for him right now. Doesn't punish that grab. So even though this game's going slowly, Crusher is getting all this chip damage. <laughs> what was. Oh, that poor pig, maybe. Just got stuck behind the Hydra. Down throw. Forder. Looks like Lucretia is finally happy with his Pikmin selection. And it's time to actually start playing the game. Those Pikmin are just getting stuck behind the Hydra. Yeah, Lucretia is definitely trying to perhaps get a third purple or better. It's just instantly like suicide. And there's the third purple. So now we perhaps see what Lucretia is going to be trying to set up. Whereas Bulby's playing his Pac Man game and just waiting for you to do anything, trying to bait you into an approach. Because Olimar is also quite a defensive character. Like, baiting an Olimar into an approach isn't an easy feat to pull off. But after that early, just ship damage lead. Bulby is really bringing this back now. On about 96% and a much lighter character than Pac-Man. Before we can just get one key set up, one hydrogen set up. This could be stocked for Lucrecio. Oh, it just calls out that roll with the forward smash. And suddenly Bulby has the lead. And Lucrecio saying, Okay, I'm gonna stop. What? Pikmin just having some weird interaction with the Hydra there. But is Lucretia gonna go back to going for all the purples? Or is he gonna just play around all the different Pikmin he's getting? Border. Bulby just retreated, covering that option for that trampoline. Could potentially be seeing a timeout in this game, the way the timers have been going. Yeah, that Hydra just completely blocks every pick. Yeah, it does look like the pressure is going for those purples again. Probably just trying to bait the pressure in. Because why would Olimar need to go in? He has such fantastic range. Such power at the mid range, but Bulby gets a grab forward throw key. He fails that re grab on the melon. Back throw. Actually, look for the dunk, but don't get it. Sticks to the white. Very dangerous Pikmin to have stuck on you, that's the most damaging Pikmin. And he's got a second purple now. And again, Lucretia is just perfectly content to just wait for Bulby. Like, like, you put a Hydra down, you charge your troop behind it, I, I, I don't really care. I'm just gonna be over here getting my purple Pikmin on deck. Now both are over 100%. Strong hit from either character could kill. Crescio does have the blue and yellow on deck, so he could potentially get blue down for into yellow backer. Oh, and Bulby with the grab. It's been down for a little bit too high percent to connect to a follow up. Purple just flying over that height. 
Dr. Crash is trying to bait with that RB. But Bulby just not falling for it. This has been a very deliberate game of trying to bait the others into approaches. Crash is now just throwing that red off stage. Poor red Pikmin. Looking for the setup. So the key doesn't quite kill Arnabar. He has light, but that was a long way for him to be flying off stage. Depressio looking like he's playing PM there with those ledgery grabs. Oh, but that key just covering the ledge. Bulby takes the stock. Minute and a half on the clock. Bulby plays the slow game we could be seeing. We could be seeing a timeout here. Sending these hydrants, these fruits, in Lucretia's direction. Two Pikmin again, just stuck behind the hydrant. Bulby not really worrying too much when he's got a Pikmin stuck to him. Even though, I don't thought Pac-Man's would be really good at getting Pikmin off you. Oh, that Good stuff from Lucretia to just wait that out. If it got done any sort of get up there, it would have hit the trampoline and gone straight into the melon. The setup you see quite often from Elixir, Fran French pac -Man. Oh, and it, okay. There's 30 seconds on the clock here, and only 38% difference. Paul will be very happy to just sit on that respawn platform. But Lucretia is just holding on to that strawberry, just like, hey, you can't pull your projectile right now. All you could really do is a camp here. Is just pull out that hydrant. But Lucrecio gets rid of the fruit now. And all of Bulby's full capital potentials on deck. Seven seconds, six, five seconds. It's looking like it's going to go the way of Bulby unless something huge happens. And there we go. And that is 1 1. Maybe Lucrecia regretting the Olimar pick, or just regretting not banning FD against Bulby. So let's see if Lucrecia sticks with the Olimar, or if he goes back to his ROM. Just going through bans. I heard Town and City be banned, I didn't hear what the first ban was. Now, where are we going to go? And both players just considering, hey, what character am I going to play? Chris is saying, okay, my slightly campy purple pulling Olimar maybe didn't work, but maybe on a stage of my choice it might. Okay, so it looks like Bulby might be switching here. Who, is he going back to Villager? Or is it going to stay Pac-Man? Or perhaps Cloud? Dr. Mario? Oh no, looks like we are staying Pac-Man. And Lucretia goes back to the Rob. And we're going to Duck Hunt. So, for Rob, Duck Hunt is a good pick. That up throw under the tree kills extremely early. But of course, that requires Bulby to be baited into an approach just under the tree. Crescio takes first blood with that there. Again, both very patient players. Both very setup heavy, just both trying to set something up to a force an approach from the opponents. Well timed tech there from Lucrecio to avoid that hydro. And now Lucrecio just perfectly happy to stall up in the sky. He's got a slight lead, only 50%. So few hits and that could easily dip go. But it's enough to make make Bullaby worried. 
will be just really right against the top though. This game, the Crusher is the one setting up the walls. With that gyro. And with some interesting plays. Oh, that duck. But that duck went straight into the trampoline. But he still gets the kill with the up smash covering the jump from ledge. Side B, not dealing enough damage to the high to actually break him. Now, Bulby has to find a way to get back into this. Crusher is very happy to just slow down the pace here. Bulby being a very patient player normally is more than happy to oblige. Running up and Z dropping that key in the crash his face. Now, Crash is doing a really good job of here, just not getting hit this time at all. I say as he just gets nailed by that hydro. Looks like all these perhaps are going to some key setups. Perhaps top into key. If that's a thing, that will be incredibly cool to see. But now, again, the question is just taking this fruit away from Bulby. This is content to just wait. Because what tools does Bulby have? He has the Hydra. But once Lucretio has that fruit, it's not a great deal Bulby can do. Now we're seeing, like, with Lucrecio holding onto that fruit, Bulby was focusing more on a sort of foxtrot in, foxtrot out approach rather than run away, put down Hydra, and charge fruit. Down throw. Are we getting the beat boop? And that's the stop. And Lucrecio took that fruit away. Got dropped in the middle of that upper. And again. Bulby now seeing that perhaps this whole slightly campier approach was not quite working against the top player that is Lucrecio. Bulby needs to be sealing out this stock soon. 136% on Lucrecio, that's a lot of rage. Trying to set up a Hydra kill, perhaps. Because it's very reactable and you can put a shield up in time. But we're doing a lot of weird things to break the Hydra and setting it in all different directions. Okay, he's got the key out. Oh! Just catches Lucretia and jumping out of his shield there. But Bulby's still a full stock down. It's gonna be an uphill battle to bring this back. And with three minutes on the clock, it's entirely possible that the pressure could just tie them out. But Bulby is now just starting to go in, just pressuring the pressure on the ledge, but gets shield grabbed, manages to air dodge the beat boot. By the hydrant. We just can't not be affording to take these trades right now. Every little hit he takes just makes the comeback that little bit harder. There goes the Gallagher. It's not even a fruit. Why are you throwing it, Pac-Man? No. Just trying to space out with these fairs from beta shield drop. Retreating to the top of the tree, just saying, Hey, you're gonna have to really commit to something to get up here and challenge me. 
So I'm thinking, hey, I remember how I got the last stock. It was just a shield grab stage trying to challenge me for a platform. So perhaps just keeping it slow, staying on top of these platforms might not be a bad strategy for Lucretia right now. Because even if he goes for the timeout, it's still a very viable strategy. But Bulby is now in kill percent on his tournament stock. It's like 135% on Bulby. He has to play perfectly right now if he wants to bring this back. The down smash takes the game. Crescio advances through losers, and Bulby goes home and loses round four.